Hello and welcome back. I'm James Rose and this is EU4 Better Than France. Um, first thing I'm going to quickly do is get rid of trade and put stability on because we have quite a bit of provincial unrest and I would rather avoid rebels. I don't like rebels. Next thing we're going to do is come over to... Actually, before I start messing about with this sort of stuff, I'm going to unpause just to some time tick by and 13 colonies you are now called the holy I should have checked how to spell this first Britannian I think that's right Empire except not because I can't fit that in oh that's annoying I really wanted to call them that maybe I should have checked that before starting the video okay we'll just call you holy britannia Britain. my not being able to spell is coming out now go with that holy britannia let's go with that uh two points if you know what that's a reference to Um, we don't need dip points. Um, uh, British West Indies are the mm, see if this will fit. Imperial Central Islands. Oops. Apparently my D key isn't working. That's annoying. What's causing that? Okay, not islands because my D key isn't working. <laughs> oh, cancel. Leave it as is. Uh, I just wanted some cooler names for them. Holy Britannia. That's fine. Uh, what else we gotta do? Um... Actually, we want to save up money right now so that we can buy the next institution. What else is there? I need a claim on Portugal. There's that. So hopefully when they leave the coalition, we can attack them. I've compl completely forgotten what I was doing yesterday, by the way, just so you know. Um, I know I was starting to eat Africa. Um, the only problem with that is... Well, we currently have high overextension. I'm going to make it a bit higher in a second by taking some land off Congo. Let's see, what do we want? None of these are particularly amazing, I don't think. That one's Catholic. Let's take that off them first. That's 12. Yeah, let's start with that. Congo. I want Luango. And... Both of those put them over 50%, so let's just take the one that's worth more. And we've almost fixed our overextension problem. Who, what are we going to do next? I can't attack Songhai. I could attack Kong. Um, so perhaps we want to send a diplomat to Kong. Uh, there's also the like minor nations over here. Most unfortunate. Armour will not be... Um, is it the bottom now, won't it? There it is. Will not be being converted. What can be converted? This. There we go. Get rid of the Protestantism in our lands. We don't need that filth. Uh, let me think. Uh, Sienna. Do you like us enough yet? Of course you don't. I wonder if Spain's making any claims on Morocco. I believe he had a claim on Tunis, but they're allied to the Ottomans. I'd rather not fight the Ottomans, because the Ottomans are actually powerful. If I could attack Morocco, that'd be good. How much are they worth? Two, two, four. Sorry, two, four, five. And we have some rebels. Let's. Uh, in fact, let's get a new general. 
At least no better, really. And are you not exploring? You should be exploring. Explore, darn it. Probably rang into a westernized um, native. Uh, you can kill them. You go up there. In fact, let's get one more leader. He's not great either. Over there. Mm. Let's wait for this to start and see difference is okay the fact yeah we should win that i'm reinforcing it anyway any people that hate me right now congo spain still needs to like me more but our guy's still got years until he comes into power so that's okay uh, bring these guys back to the coast the coast has the highest uh, supply limits we'll just let our men reinforce before we turn off um, army maintenance again. Uh, do I perhaps want a theologian? We don't really need a guy. Ooh, our truce from Morocco has ended. Do we have any claims on them? Can I kill them? No and no. I'm not doing a no CB war. That would be silly. I've told Spain I want some of their land. Oh, wait, actually. I'm be I am being silly. I can make a claim on them myself. Let's do that. The obvious thing to have done would have been to take uh, religious ideas, but that's just too easy. It's almost like cheating. We might as well. And we also are swimming in dip points. Um, although I want to take influence as my next idea group. So, lots of dip points isn't such a bad thing. How much money do I need? 1,200. Or well, there, thereabouts. 1,100 and something. Speed time up to 4, because there's not a lot to do at the moment. Need to kill more people. But unfortunately, I can't attack any of these three, because they're all in the coalition against me. And uh, we can embrace an institution. We didn't need to do that, but I like to just get it done and out of the way so I don't forget. Um, we should probably try and eat these minor nations down here. You're allowed to Luba. Okay, what's the current tax rate on the British West Indies? Current tariff rate is 20%. Let's bring that up to 25. You're, you're allied to Luba, and you have a couple of allies. Um, well, I want to keep my diplomat on Spain so I can always see at the drop of a hat what their opinion of us is. And I'm happy with where my other two diplomats are right now, so I'm going to leave all of them for now. When does my truce with you run out? I'm trying to think of a good name for the British West Indies. I should have thought of this before starting, but I was busy doing nothing before I started recording this. So, so there, yeah. You can't say anything about it. Just comment bad things and I'm sure I'll listen to them. Um, Catalan? I wonder when we get an ex uh, culture group. Oh, look at that Verden, that's a nice Verden. I'm kind of toying between taking Morocco's land for myself and giving it to Spain. I think I might take it for myself because I do what I, well, as I said, I want to take a Diplo idea group first, uh, influence ideas. So I'm going to be short on Diplo points. So it might be a good idea to take Morocco's land for myself and core it myself. Because I also want to integrate France and Spain, I think, when I've finished off the influence ideas. Um, to be fair, all I actually want is Diplo annexation costs and the Diplo rep before I start integrating them. Just to make it a bit faster. Excellent. We have two more potential wars. Kong. 
Where's your best province? This one has gold in it. Let's get a claim on that. And Morocco. We can claim this or this. Let's go for this one. And then let's pull back our diplomats. Morocco. I'll be taking some of your land. And I'll just leave France and Spain to deal with that. In fact, I'll just bring some of my men up here. Might even turn off all my forts once the war's been going for a minute and I can see how well it's going. Um, and then I also want to bring my men onto the border with Hong. Who are their allies again? Songhai and Makina. Makina's this minor nation here. They don't matter. Songhai, obviously, matters a bit more. But not an overly large amount. Ooh, Spain actually like us, and we haven't even thrown money at them recently. That is amazing. Uh, I wish I had another colonist or six. How much money am I making? 15. While everything is being paid for. Um, I want that done sooner rather than later. You've achieved your purpose, which is to get me land over here. So I'm going to recall you. And just send him down to the Cape. So we can get around to Asia a bit quicker. And have more options for our conquests. Um, Spain is happily beating on the Moroccans. France is being his usual useless self. Maybe I should actually go and fight Morocco first. Nah, too easy. Let's go for conquering this. Am I going to get either of these out? No. I'm pretty sure my men in Africa, though, should be more than enough to deal with these guys. So I want some of your land. That, that, and reveal that piece of territory. And in less than a year, we'll be able to take the next lot of ideas. Not ideas, techs. Um, also, we will want... That was easy. <laughs> I have 1,000 cannons there. I have 6,000 here, which can go down to there. You guys, I'll just take the cannons, send them up there, and the rest of you just come south to here. Just get them all nice and occupied. Denmark wants a marriage, yeah sure. I'm not interested in conquering them right now. I would have liked to have fought Denmark, but the fact is I need them to help me with the, my coalition problems because Denmark's a nice strong power so they're helping stop the coalition from uh, starting beating me up okay Kong how much are you worth? 62 okay so if I go sit on Goa oh wait no not yet you stay where you are for a second uh, if I sit on Goa, take that, I can probably knock Song High out of this war, and then I may be able to eat all of Machina as well. How's it going up north? Uh, it could be better, but they're doing something. Um, let me see. What have we got here? We have too many cannons and too many of everything else. Uh, and... That's the very maximum you can arguably have there and still be effect like, having any effect. Um, you kill that and then go and siege that down. Songhai, how you feeling? 50 and Machina is on 60 something. I don't care about them occupying my territory over there. I will do next patch, because apparently next patch, having your territory occupied in a war, is going to increase the um, lowest autonomy it can be at. 
probably should have taken advantage of the fact I'm a great power and broken the alliance between Kong and Song Hai, but you live and learn. I'm just rushing because I want to try and make this entertaining. Missionary strength, tolerance of heretics. Well, the tolerance of heretics is pretty darn high. But I think I'm going to ignore that for now. We can always take it later if we want to. If we suddenly decide that we want to actually do a one faith run. This definitely isn't going to be that. And that is... The next set of techs. Uh, what did we get? I didn't actually look. New cavalry, same cannon. And I want influence ideas. I also want to take this, but I've got to wait five more years before I can do that. Kong, one out. Nope. Holland have left the coalition. Hopefully the coalition will fall apart a bit quicker soon enough. <laughs> Machina want a lot of my territory. Uh, Bohemia is killing beavers. There goes Goa. Not quite willing to do that yet. Songhai will go away. There goes a lot of the manpower in this war. You go over there, you go over there. You just go wherever. Um... Oh no, my army reformer died. Let's get more mercantilism. That's always good. And let's take some discipline. We are now at 115% discipline. Certainly not something to be looked down on. Yay, influence ideas. And this war's almost over. How's it going with Morocco, Spain? Spain appears to be winning, if only just. Come on. Fall? No, okay. Now, who do we kill next? I could try and make Flanders. I'm going to send a diplomat to Flanders to try and make them forgive me so I can kill them. Actually, let's have a quick look while I'm thinking about it. How bad is my um, aggressive expansion in the center here? It's actually not too bad with most countries now in the center of Europe. The only thing is the fact that they're already part of the coalition, so they won't leave it. I'll take that. Uh, nobody I care about cares. Let's go with that. And we grow some more. Look at that nice red color. Before this, I started recording this episode, I was admire. Actually, I want my men around here because that's where the rebels are going to be. I was admiring um, Chavan's new map colour for this patch. It really is beautiful. I think I might have said so before. It almost makes me want to run a game as them. Chavan is here, if you're unaware. I like that colour. It's very reminiscent of the uh, Savoy of a nation it joins with colour that you can make. Um, I feel like maybe I should have just eaten Congo. I need more view, um, more vision down there. Oh no, Spanish peasants, whatever will we do? Money or local unrest. Ulm has left the coalition. Okay, we can do what we want now. The threat has passed. <laughs> oh, there's so many different games I would like to do. I'd like to do an Ulm game as well. I've actually never formed Germany in this game. So I feel like Ulm is an appropriate nation to be doing that with. Uh, there we go, convert that. And how old's that kid? He's 11. We've got four more years. Spain is currently happy with us, though, so that's fine. 
and they will stay happy with us as long as we keep throwing their men into wars because that's how this game works. Um, more population somewhere. Oh, it's that one. That's done. Excellent. That was the one costing me twice as much. Oh, and that's done as well. Even better. So I think I only need one more here now. Yes. And that will be Mexico formed. Then I also... What I'm going to do is recall you. And just send you over here. Because I want to be up Kilwa. Um, what should we be spending money on? Should we make our... I don't think our army needs to be bigger. I wouldn't mind some more ships. I think some more transport and heavy ships may be in order. Tlemcen is down. No. Come on, Spain. You can win this. I believe in you. In fact, take, probably take a load of stuff off them now. Let's get their coastline. Um, I need 78 for the coastline. Okay. I'll wait until that is the case then. Um, we've lost a royal marriage with Russia. How old's your new guy? 33 with no heir. Ah, you never know. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get a PU over Russia as well. No, that'd be amazing. What's this? <laughs> um, let me see. Shall I get lots of unrest and local trade power goes down or make Portugal like me less? I wonder. I don't know if I've ever seen that event before. I probably just clicked through it instantly clicking on make Portugal like me less because I don't care about them. You, Austria, so that'd be a big war. But nobody would join me for it either. My allies hate me, I think. I wonder why that might be. Um, more colonists, Navy commission, military support, religious, uh, more military support, take sides in parliament, throw some money at them. And we have another colonist for a bit. Where does he want to go? We have a guy going to there. I don't care about going too much further that way for now then. What I would like to start doing is, if I can get the map mode up, start getting a colonial nation in Peru. You can't actually, it's not easy to actually get, oh wait, I can't, I can't go all the way around there. Okay, La Plata it is. We'll get a colonial, colonial nation down here first. And we want to start with this bit. There we go. Tolerance makes us rich. Yay. Uh, Flanders, unfortunately, have loads of good allies, so I'm actually not going to kill them now. They they can live a bit longer. Um, let me see. I, I, obviously, I want to take this top one, but I just want to check if I click on the right thing. That nothing's going to go bad. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, it gives me f some more fever as well. For the... for the, uh, well, I can't word today. I can't word most days. It seems to be worse today, though. Morocco, you giving up yet? <laughs> He'll give up eventually. I didn't realize how many troops Spain had. How many troops do my two PEs have? Spain, 55,000. France, 42,000. So neither of them are anything to laugh at. Hmm... Morocco, give me your coastline. No? Okay. We could even not be in war right now and Spain would still be happy with us. How amazing is that? Well, there goes Flanders. I wonder if I can get uh, improved relation with some of the big guys who hate me and get them out of the coalition. Let's improve relations with Austria. They're a big guy. Uh, you in the coalition? You are. So let's improve relations with you as well. You never have too much mon money, 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 money. Oh yeah, I was going to build some more ships, wasn't I? Before I do that, what I should do, not there, here, is upgrade my current ships. There goes most of my money. And you guys, let's bring you into dock and check if any of you need upgrading. I don't actually need to take all of them, but I like to keep them in a single stack if I can. 
There we go. There's only one ship. Excellent. I'll come back in ten months. Um, Morocco, what did you unseige? Gosh darn it. They unseach that. Could be wrong. Uh, oh yeah, all my diplomats are busy now. Okay, we'll just stick in the wall with Morocco. We're in no rush to get out of it. Oh, come on, Russia, die. Missionary strength, tech cost. We're not teching up anytime soon. We have 11 years till that. I think that event lasts 10 years. I could be wrong. 5% tech cost isn't much anyway. We're getting that from uh, having Defender of the Faith anyway. Which is not too much of a bad thing as Reformed, because Reformed isn't exactly a very big religion. Most of the Reformed stuff is our own territory. <laughs> Cape is producing grain. That's very nice to know. Ferrara and Liège have left the Coalition. The Coalition is qu more quickly disbanding. Now, I'm hoping it might have gotten to the point where they realise they definitely can't win and we'll all just go home. Um, oh, that's why Spain came down here. They're unseaging those provinces. Let's see if we can just get that done a bit quicker, shall we? Because Spain is an AI and is therefore stupid. Pull my guy back from Bohemia for a second. Morocco, give me all of your territory. Um... How much is that going to... I can actually just core all of that. Go on then, that'll do. We'll just take whatever money we can. 400, nice. And there we go. Now Morocco can't raid us anymore. And we have this nice, big, red British Niger. I think we're two... Oh, I'm 105% overextended as well. That's annoying. And two points short of being able to core everything. Master of the Mint has died. Uh, let's get that guy. I think Tunis just joined the coalition that I clicked through. Let's core that. Oh no, my Conquestador died. Where is he? Well, first let's send my main man Whatever that guy's name is. Has he got a name? He's not going to give me a name on there. No? Okay. Send him back there. And we want our 1,000 men in North America to continue exploring. What's our currently military tradition? We've done a lot of war. 22. Excellent. That's super high. Definitely not disappointing. Um, you guys don't need paying anymore. But let's bring you all around here first. Uh, we're no longer in a war, so let's stop paying all of our troops. And mothball all of our forts. And get a bit more dollar. Conversion successful. whoop de doo Now, let's have another look at trade map mode. How is that looking for us right now? There's 25.8 in Genoa, 22.8 in the English Channel. Hmm. Uh, there's got to be a way to get that high enough. Um. Teutonic Order left the coalition. That's good. They're a big nation. Saved by a princess. Money for dip points. I'll take that. Thank you, considering we're doing a diplomatic idea group. And we can no longer get a PU on Russia. Unfortunate. Um, let's see, shall we? Okay. Oh, lose legitimacy or lose admin points. I'll take the legitimacy hit because that's our queen. She's going to go away soon anyway. And let's start building a spy network on Kilwa. Because we want all of this. Oh, hello. Uh, new conquest door. Lose. Pre oh, I'll take the admin. Thank you. And then I'll go spend the useless military points we have on getting another conquest door. 
go. Explore the world. Find me the seven cities of gold. I will have them. Because they give big bonuses. Oh, we can't see how much money is actually in there yet. Now, if we're actually going down there, what I should probably do... I still haven't built any more ships. Let's pause and actually go build some more ships. Okay, so we're currently on 16 heavies. And we're making 30 ducats. So, money is not really an issue. That brings us up to 21, 22, 23, 24. 25 is a nice number for heavies. And then just lots of transports. There we go. And we'll leave that to sort itself out. Uh, how old is our heir? He's almost come of age. I think we'll wait for him to come of age and then I will end it there. We'll see what trait he gets. Hopefully a good one. Actually, I might wait until I can get this on May if he comes. Oh, there he is. And he is... What is he? He's industrious. He will help grow our economy leaps and bounds. And actually, that's a really good thing to get because that's going to increase trade value. And he's going to probably be the king when the next institution comes about. So that may help us quite a bit in getting this higher than Genoa's. Genoa's fluctuates so much. I guess it's the AI moving things around. And also, I want to just change my focus here to diplomatic before I end this. Because otherwise, I'll almost definitely forget. Um... Other than that, I think we're looking pretty nice right now. We still need to eat Portugal. I really want to kill Portugal. I need them to leave the coalition. Rio de la Prata is producing grain. And it was, was it May? Yes, it was 18th of May. And we're there. Bam. There we go. So we're getting plenty of admin and diplomatic points. Military points we don't need lots of right now. Um, oh, hello. We can even... Do that one. And I'll take your money. There we go. That's a few more points for us. And let's spend some money up here if we can to increase the trade value of the British Channel node. 0.60. Build there. I'm guessing there isn't a better one. Can't see one straight off. Okay. I think. Actually, let's also check if there's anything good. That's good. That's good. That's... Oh, wait. Is that... That's not this node, though, is it? No, it's not. Let's turn that off. Um, that's good. That's good. And I guess that's that. Oh, even... No, yeah, that's a different node there. Let's go with that. Cool. So, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I've been James Rose. This has been EU4 Better Than France. I'd say we're doing better than France right now. They're, they could look better. The Ottomans are looking pretty scary. They actually have... They're actually a proper empire now. They have over a thousand development. And we're only on a measly 1,429. Look how small our manpower development is, God. <laughs> 71,000 manpower, but 139 force limit. <laughs> That's Britain for you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you all have a good day. This is our ever-growing British Empire. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.